Welcome back everybody, it's officially Leo season. If your birthday is coming up or you have a Leo you love in your life, take them to Bar Moxie to experience their special astrology cocktail series. Colleen Carnegie and Kemp Gorman are here to tell us more. Y'all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you guys so much for joining us. Colleen, I know this is kind of your baby, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the astrology series in just a second. But if you could just first remind us about uh, Bar Moxie and the Moxie Hotel. Absolutely. Uh, Bar Moxie has been open uh, for about three and a half years. Uh, we are connected to Moxie Austin University, uh, which is a European branded hotel. Uh, we specialize in kind of minimalistic style rooms, uh, but the party is downstairs in the lobby at Bar Moxie. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> and I will say, I mean, it's on campus. So parents or, you know, if you're coming down for a school visit, that's a really great place to hang you're right in, right in the middle of everything. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me about the vibe at the bar. Absolutely. Uh, the vibe, it's a little bit more casual. The, really, the bartenders want to have fun with you. We want to create an environment that's really unique and special to our location and special to Austin. And overall, we want you to have fun. We want you to just have a blast, and we want to have a blast with you. We've got one such bartender here. He's doing some big <laughs> nodding when yeah. you say he, they want to have fun. Okay, <laughs> what made you think of this astrology series? Absolutely. Uh, we wanted a different way to really showcase the different personalities um, over the whole 12 month period of a year and all that are roped into their individual astrological symbols. And so we really just wanted to showcase birthdays in a whole new way and give people a different experience of how they can experience their birthdays. That's wonderful. And I will say on this show, we don't tend to talk about astrology until our producer Gracie's birthday season comes up. <laughs> Guess what, guys? She's a Leo. <laughs> you guys said this is peak Leo behavior, actually, that she booked this Absolutely. with her birthday coming up in August. We love her so much, of course. All right, Kemp, you made the cocktail for Leo season. Tell me I, what it is. I did. So, uh, you know, like we were saying, it is a fun way to showcase the different personalities, and this one is absolutely no different from that. Uh, it is bold and gregarious, just like a Leo, and it's a perfect summer quencher as well. So you have kind of taken these personalities and imbued them into I'd, liquid form. I do my best with that. <laughs> it's also just a fun way to, you know, have a different specialty cocktail every month. Sure, yeah, yeah, nice way to rotate things around. Okay, what's it called and how do we make it? All right, so this one is called the Sun King. You know, Sun once King, again with perfect, our Leos. very Leo. All of our astrological cocktails do have songs um, that they are referencing. Okay. And so Sun King being the Beatles song, we usually like to do some stuff that's a little bit more modern, but this one is just a, a, a slam dunk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, how do we do it? All right, so I have taken some uh, cucumber and mint and I have muddled it in some agave syrup. Uh, I'm using about a uh, three quarter ounce of agave syrup. It's just going to sweeten it up a little bit. Uh, because we're using mezcal in this cocktail, uh, I did use agave syrup instead of simple, just because we like to use something that kind of works with the spirit that we're using. Sure, it's kind uh, of from the same area. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So for this one, we're using a uh, Malbien Mezcal. Uh, we're going to do an ounce and a half of that. And Mezcal, I know, has kind of a smoky vibe. Uh, it does, and it's interesting you mentioned that, because the smoke has to do more with the way the Mezcal is produced oh. than it does with the, you know, agave that it's made from itself. So the Malbian that I'm using is a little bit less smoke forward, a little bit more agave forward. Gotcha. Uh, so the smoke is going to be in there definitely on the back, but it's not going to overwhelm the cocktail. He does know his cocktails. He does, he does very does. much. <laughs> uh, we've got a little bit of lemon juice. That's just going to brighten it up a bit, especially since we've got a couple sweet ingredients in there. It's just going to balance that cocktail out a bit. And then I'm using some passion fruit liqueur Ooh. as well. And I'm going to use about an ounce of that. Once you use an ounce of that, let me smell it. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I don't think I've ever thought to pa purchase passion fruit liqueur before. It's delicious. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells tropical. Exactly. So once again, going to balance out all that uh, smoky notes and the, you know, kind of earthy, rich flavors. Once again, this is just a great summer quencher. Going to give that a quick shake Thank there. Thank you. Yeah. For and TV time, he'd be shaking <laughs> a lot longer if not. This is I want to make sure that everybody at, at home true. can see, see this because this is a gorgeous final product, but I want everybody to see the pour. Absolutely. So we are going to double strain this just okay. to make sure we don't get any mint. That is a gorgeous golden color. And then uh, we're going to top this off with some soda water. Uh, you can use any soda of choice, but it, we're using liquid death. Because liquid death. 
why the heck but not? A fun and name, isn't it? Okay, and then how do we garnish? Straw, we're gonna give her a little cucumber on there. And then I'm gonna take a little sprig of mint. That's fresh, that's coming out of people's gardens right now. It I know it's growing like crazy. Exactly right, it is summery to say the least. Okay. And we're just gonna give it a little smack Ooh. and that's going to kind of activate the aromatics in there. Good to know. Right there. There we go. Okay, we you go. and I are gonna cheers while you, Colleen, <laughs> tell us a little bit more about what else is new. You guys have a sticker program, for example, LGBTQIA help. Tell yeah. us about that. Absolutely. Our sticker program um, is something for guests to really just get involved with every aspect of our property and with the bar, also Zombie Taco um, inside of our area as well. Um, so you get stickers for purchasing specialty cocktails at the bar, this one being included as one of them. Um, and then also ordering tacos at the bar, bringing friends back down and really having all those friends enjoy, as well as sharing your game day activities with us. So each of those activities gets you a sticker. Once you get all those stickers, it redeems you for a free night's day to stay with us at oh, the Moxie and really lovely. experience us for a whole night. I'm so sorry we have to leave it there. You're gonna have to peel this cocktail out of my hands. That's <laughs> delicious, my friend. Congratulations. Cheers. And we'll have more information about all the other wonderful things y'all are up to online. Okay? Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. All right. Happy Leo season, everybody. To learn more about Moxie Austin and to plan your visit today, head to moxieuniversity.com.